Hello, my name is Matthew, and I have a confession to make. I was a complete party animal in college and never read any of my studies. Now, five years later, I finally realized the power of books to help you achieve your dreams and experience a richer life. So my nose is almost always behind a book now, and I want to share this incredible journey with you. So I'm creating a review of all the books I've completed. Heck, I'd love to share the one I just finished a few minutes ago. But first, make sure to share the books you've enjoyed as well. And don't forget, there's a link below the video to check out what I've read for yourself. Hey everybody, I just finished The Laptop Millionaire by Mark Anastasi. I think that's how you say that. And um, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't recommend anybody really buy this and read it. Uh, what it is, is it's a bunch of different techniques to make money on the internet. Uh, but I got the, the feeling the guy wasn't really an authority on the topic. Uh, his credibility seems to hinge on this guy called the Laptop Millionaire. But it almost sounds like he, who's his mentor um, throughout the book, it almost sounds like he's a fictitious character. And then the, the big time marketers and uh, people that I'm actually aware of, like Yannick Silver and uh, Evan Pagan and so on and so forth, he just cites examples that uh, are long since gone that these guys have have done. Um, it just it didn't really strike me as being all that valuable a book. If you go through it, so let's page through it here. The probably the first chapter was the best. Uh, it was on creating an ebook. He or the second chapter. I'm sorry. The first was his. Uh, his life story and how he came from poverty and so on and so forth. But um, anyways, I, I don't really want to play down this guy's book. I'm sure that some effort did go into making it, and I would like to thank him if I met him. But I just wouldn't, I, I can't honestly recommend this book to anybody. Um, as I said, the first uh, chapter here on, uh, was on writing an ebook, which I thought was a pretty important lesson. Uh, the second one's on building a list. Uh, everybody knows the money's in the list. That's basically what that's about. I can tell you immediately. The next one's on search engine optimization. He doesn't really tell you any techniques or anything. He just says it's valuable. This one's on YouTube. Again, he doesn't tell you any techniques to using YouTube. He just, just basically says it's valuable. And the meat of every chapter are probably like half this chapter here is just on how to, uh, how all these people made all this money immediately doing this. There's, there's not really any meat you can take and run with. I guess I do have to correct myself. The YouTube chapter, he does say how it's a good idea to approach other YouTube members and ask them if you can put your link below their video, which is pretty simple. I don't know why he spent 10 so many pages doing that. And the book is just full of stuff like that. Then when we get to the end, I don't have experience in all these. I am aware of them. So I couldn't really gauge the credibility of what he's writing, the correctness and accuracy and all that. But most recently, I've been working with paid traffic on the internet. And some of his numbers are just they're wrong. They're not even possible. He, he has a quote here where he did an ad campaign on Facebook and got 11 million impressions and his target market was only, only a quarter million big and he did it in a week. I just, I don't even think that's possible to be honest with the campaigns I was running and what I was trying. You might be able to hit those kind of numbers if you opened it up to like all of the United States or something. It's just just crazy. He didn't put any filters on there to narrow down your market. And then you'd never make any money. You just pay for advertising. So uh, to make that, um, just, just to elaborate, like I didn't really find this to be too great of a book. I took away a few lessons from it. One, write an ebook, which I've done and I've done okay on. I'm going to show you a better book here in a second. Two, uh, build a list. Everybody knows to build a list. And three, I learned how to uh, get people's help in different countries where the, the labor can be a little less expensive through Craigslist. I didn't realize you could advertise outside of the U.S., which is pretty cool. 
And that's, that's about all I learned from this book. It wasn't worth the 20 bucks. That said, there are some broken links in here and he does pitch affiliate product after affiliate product after affiliate product. And it just leaves you hanging. It's like, well, you can make these videos on YouTube and to learn how to do that, go to this link. And then you go there and it's like disappointment because all of a sudden he's pitching another product to you that's like four, three, four hundred dollars and <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm a little annoyed by that. I wanted to get more out of the book. I read, I did finish it, but I was considering just putting it aside. Um, Cause honestly, I, I do think this could be an okay book if it was half the price and it was like maybe 60 or 70 pages, not 200 some pages pitching his affiliate products and giving big fish stories that seldom if ever happen, making millions within a matter of months of just starting with the internet and being blind and on and on. It's just like unbelievable claims. That said, okay, so there's this book and it shows you different methods to making money online. Well, I read this book by one of the sources he quotes in the book um, and his name's Yannick Silver. I read this a number of years ago. I sat down and within a few weeks, I launched an ebook. I wrote my ebook. He gives many different methods to making money online, step by step, how to research them, how to how to do them, how to make money off ebooks, how to make money off of e uh, eBay, um, how to drop ship, all that stuff. And with him buying this book called Moonlighting on the Internet by Yannick Silver, uh, a few weeks later, I was making, um, I don't know, I made 20, 30 bucks here and there, and that's added up over the years. I just let the ebook run as a residual. Uh, on its own, meaning the web page delivers it after payments cleared and everything. He tells you how to set it up in here. He gave me the sales copy, fill in the blank sales copy. I made the web page and I've made several hundred dollars off that ebook hands free. So, which book do I recommend out of the two then? I mean, this was a review for the Laptop Millionaire, but you tell me, do you want to get just a big book full of bragging and buy my other affiliate products or a book you can pick up, you can run to your computer and start making money right away. So I'm going to put the link for both of these below the video. And I would also love it if you tell me if you've read any books of this sort on making money online and uh, affiliate marketing and uh, marketing in general that you really enjoyed and you found valuable, could you please put your comments below the video too? I'd love to get a copy of your book too. So thanks much and I look forward to talking to you.